Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. It's November 14th. We're live, and uh, this is not a recording. Uh, I can show you, actually, uh, here on my phone. It is November 14th. We're live, and uh, it's 8.03 a.m. where I'm at because I'm on the west side of the U.S., uh, but it's 10 a.m. Eastern, and uh, we go live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Let me see if I can pull my microphone over here. All right, we'll see if this microphone still works. Uh, all right, there we go. Just fixing my microphone. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Joanne, if you can let me know if my microphone's working okay, that'd be great. Uh, welcome in. Okay. Uh, let us know in the chat where you're tuning in from. Give us a little thumbs up or a heart if you can hear me okay. Uh, we go live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. We'll bring on guests from our community or from our industry, and uh, we'll chat a little bit about their journey online and how they got started, and uh, we'll try to unpack a little bit about their strategy as well for uh, getting started online, how they create content, all that good stuff. So, um, no guarantees, but uh, if you do have questions uh, for the guest or for uh, the host, I guess myself, uh, you can put them in the chat. Uh, sometimes those help facilitate conversation a little bit. Uh, today, our guest, uh, Camila, is uh, down in Florida, originally from Cuba, I believe. And uh, she's going to share with us a little bit about how she got started on social media and TikTok and such. And we'll share her uh, social media handles a little bit later on the show. Camila, what's up? Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you for having me here. Of course. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to have you on. What? Um, tell us a little bit about you and um, your story. I mean, you grew up in Cuba and now you're in Florida. Tell us a little bit about that journey and how you, uh, or why and how you decided to come online. Okay, so yeah, like six years ago, you know, I came from Cuba, following the American dream, you know, I got my job, I was really excited, I was like, wow, <laughs> I thought I was living the dream, I went to school, went to four years of college, and then I was like, oh my god, this is so expensive here, because I wanted to become a vet, that's what okay. I wanted. And but it was just so, so expensive, and so long, it was like, eight more years. Yep. So I was thinking of going somewhere else. So I dropped out and I was saving money. I was working as a waitress, but you know, like deep inside you, you're thinking all the time, like, is this really what I wanted? <laughs> is this really what I want to do? And, you know, I remember a girl who sat me down and she was like, Camila, but what do you really want to do? <laughs> I'm like, my dream is to travel all over the world, like not to be the vet, it's to travel all over the world. But I thought that was the, you know, the step that I needed to take to be able to do that. But so I was, I was actually searching for ways to make money while I was in school. I was like, mm. online is the only way. So I started searching. Um, but that day I came home at night and my, I didn't have TikTok at that time. It was so funny. I didn't have it because I thought it was like kind of silly. Yeah. <laughs> so like a little kids thing or something. Yeah. I'm like, this is so silly. Like, how many more social media am I going to have? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my that. boyfriend, he was the, the one who told me that he was watching Calvin Hill go live. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, he told me, like, I mean, there's this thing called affiliate marketing. And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> like, <laughs> that sounds like so simple. Sure. So, yeah. And then, you know, in, inside of the ebook, I found Legendary. And I okay. was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And, you know, love the chorus and say one. Yep. Wow. So, yeah. And then cool. I shifted, you know, like, I maybe don't need school. <laughs> Yeah, right. You're you're like I'm, maybe I found a different kind of school mm -hmm. or a different kind of education or something. Yeah, exactly. It's funny how like uh, there's there's been a lot of people. Um, there's this girl a while ago, Victoria, who's like, yeah, I just she said something to the effect. I'm paraphrasing, but she said something to the effect of like, 
yeah, I just finished my college degree and I got more value out of the 15 day challenge than I did all four years of college. And I was like, Oh, that sounds Mm -hmm. cool, but also sad, (laughs) you know, like (laughs) just because of how expensive it is. But Mm -hmm. so you found us, um, and then you start the 15 day challenge. What was that process like of starting the challenge? Um, in terms of compare it to like traditional education that you've got, um, because it is a lot different. Um, did you find that you had the internal motivation to do most of the training yourself or like, how did that go? Oh my God. I was really excited since they won. <laughs> like I have somewhere here. I saw it. Um, it says 15 day business builder challenge day one. It was back in March. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was really, yeah. really excited. Like, you know, nobody told me to do it. I just saw the video right away. I bought it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And cool. I, I, since day one, I was like, oh, my God, this is so much information I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, like, it is. Yeah. Once you once you see it, once you discover sort of how affiliate marketing works or even just selling digital information, right? Courses, consulting, all that kind of stuff. And you're like, wow, that all happens on the Internet. That's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um it really has changed and shifted everything. I, I'm still, it, I sound a little bit like a dinosaur when I'm like, the internet's changed everything. And people are like, yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you yeah. think? Like, we've known that for a while, but it is really true. Yeah. And I think it is still a revolutionary discovery for a lot of people who mm-hmm. just discover like, wow, you're right. Like, it is a it is a massive deal and it is a really cool way to earn income online mm-hmm. by selling courses or by selling digital information in particular. Yeah. Um okay, so so you come online, you've been on some social media apps before and and you're familiar with them, but never really made TikTok videos or never really created content to educate people. No. Um <laughs> so tell us about going from a consumer just watching videos to a creator actually making videos and producing content and because in a really quick time you know march to november sounds like a long time but that's pretty quick like that's pretty fast you went from this is a totally new idea to Mm -hmm. i'm now a content producer creator and producer and director and editor and you know (laughs) all this stuff (laughs) And now you're making money on the internet. Um, yeah. Tell us about that process of becoming that creator. So, yeah, it was, you know, before this, I kind of like did a Namelan, but I, I, I guess I got it. I did it like for fun. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really treat it like a business. And so, but yeah, it was like different. Like it was like so different. Um mm-hmm starting to make content <laughs> my first video was horrible <laughs> yeah it was so funny it was just me going like this <laughs> just like it pointing so around at words yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> right it was really really <laughs> yeah <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but gross. i enjoy it like i really have fun you know um creating content at the beginning you know it's like a little hard and because mm-hmm. you don't you have like no idea like what you do but you're trying to kind of model people, you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah. what you do until it gets easier. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I think that like, I think that um, Dave, Dave, the way that he describes this, I find so helpful, which is like basically in those early days, you're doing more of sharing rather than having a bunch of original ideas. And as you sort of share your way to your first sale, you know, I'm sharing ideas or I'm sharing an idea I saw somewhere else or like, wow, I just discovered, you know, this. And it's mostly sharing ideas and just kind of growing a little bit of a following like, hey, I'm interesting. Hey, I have I have interesting yeah. things to say. And then mm-hmm. as you grow, sort of like William just said right here, it's about finding your voice and you learn yep. to find mm-hmm. that over time. Yep. Yep. What um, So so as you grow and as you figure that process out, um. You're on TikTok. I'm assuming maybe you're on some other apps or stuff, you know, yeah. YouTube or Instagram or some other stuff too. Um, what struggles have you had? What what hurdles have you had to overcome? A lot. 
I'm sure a we lot. all do. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. been the hardest part about the journey? Oh, gosh. Um, so one thing, like I struggle a lot, like to tell my story through the, you know, through my, uh, my content mm-hmm. because it happened so crazy. I was like, what, how do I want to tell this story? You know what I mean? Like it happened so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like I didn't even put it together inside my mind. So yeah, it's like you said, as mm-hmm. you go, you start seeing what works, how people relate to you. And then you get cl- yeah clarity on your story too. So that was, yeah, that was a big thing. Um, Another thing, I had a bunch of issues with funnels. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, like I had them all, I wasn't collecting leads for months. And I was like, I didn't even check at the beginning. (laughs) Hey, I have been there so many times. I have been there so many times. And, oh, God, I just, you know, (laughs) it sucks. It sucks, and you're always it's, like, yeah. "How did I do this? Uh, why did I do this?" Yeah, I yeah, remember I, I I emailed Drew, and he was like, he was laughing too, like, "Oh my god, you just need a little switch here." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> well, like, you know, you know fix it, and you keep going, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. I mean, I think that uh, I think that that little the little techie things like that where you miss a switch or you miss a button or you miss a like that is part of the journey and process of (laughs) of figuring it all out is just Mm -hmm. I think if everybody can give us a little give give Camila a little hand clap emoji in the chat because um that little insight that little nugget is really powerful to me because you know, any person who's starting out and going through this journey, there's a lot of people who struggle with um, the idea of figuring out as they go, because that kind of a mistake is a mistake that a lot of people are scared to make. I've made it a million times. And it's actually mind blowing to think about how many times that I've had that happen. Um, (laughs) But it just it just is. It's one of those things that as you um as you make that mistake now moving forward, you're always going to kind of, Oh, oh, I remember like I messed that up. Like (laughs) I I got to go double check this. And (laughs) it's sort of like learning anything, you know, you fall off a bike a couple of times and it's like, well, I need to stop doing this one thing when I'm on the bike. Like this is not a good thing, but Mm -hmm. you know, figuring out as you go and being willing to, to make mistakes and screw up and, you know, go a couple months not generating leads. Like that's that's totally normal part of the process. Yeah. That's what I love about these wake up shows is you get the mm-hmm. real insight into like this is just mm-hmm. hey, you yeah. know, I did this last month too. Okay, cool. I'm not the only one who's who's jacking up my uh, autoresponder. Yeah. You know? So, um, all right. Outside of that, and some techie things, and some content creation, and finding your voice. Um, Mm -hmm. what's been sort of ways in which you've felt maybe that you've grown or that you've been challenged and stretched and you've grown or expanded your capacity as like a business owner or entrepreneur? I think mostly mindset Mm. that, yeah, you just have to switch, you know, so many things inside of the brain, you know what I mean? Like all beliefs and what society has taught you and, what your parents tell you and, you know, what your whole family tells you. So it's just switching and keep growing. And, you know, at the beginning, I had the wrong, like the wrong approach. I was just thinking yeah. of commissions and I want to make the commission. I want to make the commission, but I wasn't thinking of helping people. You know? mm-hmm. as, soon, as soon as I made that switch, whoop, you know, everything, you know, started I made the my first high ticket commission when I switch. So that's mm. you know, I think mindset. <laughs> to wow. me it's being like the hardest. Yeah, like my biggest yeah, asset. Did you did you have any like mindset stuff around wealth or money? Like like or how you grew up or what were what were some of the what were some of like because you know, we talk a little bit in the challenge about programming, right? And how mm-hmm. we've got this program that we kind of run through our head. We rerun over and over and over again. And um, 
Oh, I'm wondering if, you know, did you have any of that type of programming that you had to sort of, you know, it's, it's like, I don't have a wire in front of me, but like, it's sort of like unplug the wire, move it over here, plug it back in. Let's change the wiring here and here. Did you have yep. anything like that? Mm -hmm. Like the thing about school. Oh my God. When I told my mom and dad, ah. <laughs> That was like you're crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm gonna see. <laughs> Just give me time. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing because you know I was taught to yeah. um, work, have a job, go to school. You know, like yeah. people, and I had to like no, Camila, like convince yourself. There's no plan B. There's plan A, and you're gonna make. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. I, that you know I had to work on it and you know believe in yourself because that's so hard when you're not making anything at the beginning the first month it's like hard there's so, a lot of self-doubt that first couple of months right <laughs> there is it's like <laughs> there okay is. that that yeah. lingering question I remember asking that question so many times like is this ever going to work <laughs> like Am I yeah. ever going to make a single penny on the internet? Like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I remember that so clearly. Yeah. And taking risks, like spending money on you, like on your education. Mm. That's a big thing because I remember when yeah. that, like, the blueprints came, I was like, I was at that time, I was saving money for school. And my, the thoughts I had to go through my mind. So I was able, you know, to buy and go through them. It was like, well, like we all spend this like $80,000 and more and we go into debt for going to school. Like, why am I going to spend this on me? <laughs> you know what I mean? If it can give me more than school can give me. So that's, you know, like switching a little bit here and a little bit there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So makes sense. You, so you can, you know, build up those skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is funny because you have to, to, to a certain extent, um, invest time, money, resources mm -hmm. into yourself into and it's a different type of it's a different type than than college or university. And it's um, I would say the value proposition is a lot better. Like a lot of times people are like twenty five hundred dollars. But the truth is, is like, yeah, in the grand scheme, you could spend 40, 80, whatever. Like my wife went to school for whatever um, mental health therapy, and it was something like $50,000 for just her grad school yeah. and um, just the grad school. And um, I think that, you know, I, when, as she comes out of that, um, a lot of mental health therapists, social workers, they might make forty to $60,000 as an entry level job. 40 to 60,000 a year. And to me, I'm a little bit like, wow, like that's a pretty shitty uh, value proposition um, mm -hmm. given that, you know, with an education like the challenge or our business blueprints or something, you know, you, that's something yeah. that you can literally, you can, you can uh, pay that off in, in, even if you financed something at $2,500, you could, you could pay that off in a, a few months or a year or something like that, even if you don't have a high paying job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. and even if you never made a dime back from it ever, like mm -hmm. it's just, it's 2,500 yeah. bucks. You can figure mm -hmm. it out, you know, exactly. it's doable, but mm -hmm. the, on the, on the borrowing of $60,000, you know, that changes things a little bit. That's going to be for some people a lifetime, you know, Mm -hmm. It's like, so I, I do feel a bit like, um, the investment in yourself is a smart investment when you're learning real skills. Mm -hmm. I think that that's the big kicker is when you're learning actual transferable skills and the skills of lead generation and traffic generation and getting followers and getting people's attention and doing an autoresponder and then also doing like a, uh, Doing an autoresponder, doing a, a email integrations, e email automation, all that stuff is just skills that you can put on your resume. And even if you wanted to go get a job, you could go get a job in lead generation. And you, you could be like, hey, you know, I don't have a great degree. I'm not a marketing major or something, <laughs> but I've got real skills. Like mm -hmm. I can I can figure this out and I promise you that I can 
you know, generate some results. And the value proposition of what you pay versus uh, the ROI that'll come to you over a long period of time, even short period of time. I mean, you're making money from your own business, you know, six or eight months later or something like that. But the overall value that you can bring into the marketplace is massive. And I think that that's really powerful. And I'm glad you hit on that because that's a big, that's a big piece where, you know, I might come on here and say something like, you know, wow, our, our business blueprints are so valuable and they are, but it's like, okay, Matt, you work for the company. Of course you're going to say that, you know, (laughs) but I think that seeing that mindset and that mentality of like, I'm going to, I'm going after this and there's nothing more valuable than making me more valuable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's, that's really powerful. That's mm-hmm. cool. I'm glad you got that out. And it seems like a lot of people get that from the challenge and get that from our community, which is like, Hey, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, mm-hmm. I'm the valuable asset. I'm going to put my investments into me and it's a total shift, man. It's a total yeah. shift from, from how the world thinks and how we've kind of been trained to think. Yeah, exactly. Like right now I have a like account running on TikTok. I'm in view only mode for, you know, like community guy, uh, violations. Right. Um, And I go like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know how to build it again. You know what I mean? Like I'm not scared. I've learned yeah. how to do so. I'm like, okay, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We'll see> <laughs> yeah, it happens to yeah. everybody and it usually doesn't last long. <laughs> That's just, it's part of the game. I've seen that happen to everybody in every industry. It happens over and over and over again. And from the weight loss industry to the virtually every industry, I've seen this happen to people who are coaches, consultants, um, sell their own digital products in almost every industry. Um, as you as you start to generate leads and as you start to make some sales, what um what what's been sort of the the biggest uh, or the or the uh, what strategy has had the best ROI? Meaning, like, what have you been doing on social media to gain followers, to get people's attention, to to build your email list? Well, I've been trying, you know, like I use, I model some people. And and, and by um, that, you mean you've got sort of people that you'll go find on social media and get ideas from and be like, yeah. wow, that style mm-hmm. video seemed to mm-hmm. really work. Yeah. I, yeah. I should try something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. That and, you know, I'm sometimes I'm scrolling and I see a viral um like sound yeah. that I go like, oh, I could use this. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I just get like 200 views, but sometimes it works. So yeah, yeah never know. You just got to try. Yes. Yeah. And another you great story trip. with that, you know, that viral mm. sound. And yeah. Yes. Yes. And yeah. I think, um, I don't know, at least to me, one one thing that you implied there, but you didn't say explicitly is as you're going through TikTok, you, I'm guessing, made a mental shift from going from just like, I'm consuming and I'm scrolling and I'm consuming and I'm scrolling to now I'm, you're, you're sort of looking through the lens of like, hmm, I wonder if I could try that. Oh, interesting. I think that worked. I should try that. It's so funny, like you you don't consume uh, social media anymore. You you go through it, like you scroll. You have to scroll, but <laughs> it's like thinking, like what can I use? You know what I mean? It's like so funny. <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's so <laughs> true. That's exactly. And and when you're sitting on social media, man, um, it's it's so easy to get sucked down the rabbit hole, and suddenly you're watching funny videos, and you're cracking up, and then you're like. Where did the last two hours go? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. I, I gotta go. Like Camila, focus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So let me share my screen real quick. And I, I thought what would be fun is if we did. And people, let me know in the comments if you want us to do this. I'm gonna do it either way. But let me know if you find this valuable. Here's what I. So let me pull this open. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Might be a little small, but. Um, so I just searched dog training on TikTok 
And um, so when you talk about modeling and you talk about finding other ideas, you know, I think one powerful way that I've found to do this, and you can give your tips and advice here too, this would be great, um, is let's say I'm in the dog training niche. One of the things that I find to be really powerful is this little tool called Sort for TikTok. And um, let me see, I think I'm going to need to share my screen a little bit bigger. Hang on one second. Yeah, I did uh, that before. I saw it on a day in a day. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this, can you see sort for TikTok here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So for everybody who's watching, there's this little tool called sort for TikTok, and you can install it as a Google Chrome extension. And, uh, and then basically what happens is, let's say I want to – search dog training. All right. And then I want to go to, let's do beta dog training. I'm going to go to this person's, um, channel here and, uh, it's some sort of a dog trainer. Okay, great. All right. So if I hit sort for TikTok, what it's going to do is sort all of this person's videos by most watched to least watched. So one powerful little tip or one powerful tool that you can use to find viral videos and videos that have gotten lots and lots of content is to just do uh, sort for TikTok. So then if I click on this. People consider getting a Kilo because they've seen them in pictures and memes and they're super cute, but they've never actually met. Okay. So it'll get start to give me ideas. So I would say it'll on what types of content this this is that's working for this particular type of audience mm -hmm. and in that particular niche. And I think that that's really powerful when you're trying to get ideas for content creation and you're trying to, what you said, model yeah. um, uh, off of other people's content. I think, you know, the only downside is potentially that some of those videos can be older. So you kind of want to, as you're looking through it, also just be mindful of like, you know, was this video made four years ago or was it made four days ago? Yeah. Because you'd like it to be more recent stuff that you're, you know, is more in tune with the algorithm and stuff like that. Um, as you're modeling, as you're figuring all of that out, do you create content like a couple times a day? Do you have a scheduled routine or do you just kind of do it when you have time? Well, I, you know, when I started, I was doing like content every day, like creating like three videos every day. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, when you have a full time, it's so like, ah, like annoying to be doing that every day. So yep. uh, and I started to batch content, cool. make a hole <laughs> in my yeah. day and then I will have it for the week. Amazing. So that's how I started doing it. Then, yeah, I will go, you know, through the week, like during the week, I would look for ideas and I would send it. Um, yep. I would send it to the TikTok accounts. Yep. And, yeah. Oh, at first I had one account. I would post three times a day, three to four times a day. Okay. But then since I have two, like I, I wanted to create like a backup account. So I was doing two and one and two and the other one. So twice nice. a day. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, 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 nice. When you do batched content for everybody who's watching, that just means uh, she creates a bunch of content on one single day for the whole week, basically. When mm -hmm. you do that... Um, are you are you literally making like fifteen videos? Yes, <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Account like wow, yeah. mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, um, but if you think about it in terms of like a job or something, you know, it doesn't. It takes a few hours, yeah. but so but does any other job. You know, three hours and I'm done. So it's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. And the cool part is, is that stuff works for you. I, I've been thinking about this more in terms of like low leverage work versus high leverage work because mm -hmm. everything's work. Everything's going to require work, take work. Yeah. It's yeah. going to take time. But mm -hmm. think about like um, a plumber. So a plumber only gets paid when they're on a job site and they've got a wrench in their hand and they're connecting some pipes mm -hmm. or tearing something apart. It's the only time that they are going to make any money. Yeah. Um, as we're, okay, I'm going to spend three hours making content. I'm not going to get paid while I'm doing that content. That's whatever. But I've got all this content now for a whole week. And all I have to do is hit post. 
And then these videos are going to put me and my message out in front of the world mm -hmm. all day, every day, 24-7, 365. And mm -hmm. I don't have to be on the app. I don't have to be anywhere in the world in particular at all. I don't even have to be awake. Like, I don't have to be conscious. Mm -hmm. I can be dreaming about, you know, um, making money in my sleep. I can just be sleeping. <laughs> Just like, oh, I mean, I'm making money right now. And um, and that's a high leverage skill. It's a really powerful idea, at least to me. I find that really powerful because it makes you rethink everything that you do, every task, everything that's like, man, I keep doing this every single day. It's like, how do I automate that? Or how do I how do I leverage that a little bit more so that I can I can um free up more of my time, free up yeah. more of my energy. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, man, that's really powerful. And then you're also, you know, really focused in for those couple of hours that you're creating content. Yeah. Um, you're really focused about what ideas I'm, I'm having and where do I want to take my content and my messaging now sounds, I find that people's messaging sounds really, um, congruent the the mm -hmm. message overall sounds very similar and stuff it's really powerful um do you do you so you're uh you also have your backup account and we'll put that up for people to go follow you on um as you're posting content um and growing multiple accounts which is amazing what's your other your other account how many followers were you at so in one of them the one that is like account view only that's like six thousand something. Wow. The other, the backup in, uh, it's like almost two thousand, like a thousand seven hundred followers. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and yeah I think. Oh, go uh, ahead. <laughs> I'm doing YouTube, Instagram, which is like it's been really hard, but YouTube, it's been working out really good. Cool. Yeah, I'm growing subscribers there and generating leads and awesome. Facebook real. I do it too, like all of them. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be on all of them. You have yeah. to because um, because they're all competing with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, they're competing with each other to give you um, to give you uh, attention and give you. You know, I they're adjusting their algorithms to mm -hmm. compete with TikTok, to compete with Instagram, to compete with Facebook, and they're all competing against each other. And their competition is just your benefit because they're trying to figure out ways for you to get more attention, get more leads, et cetera. So yeah. super, super cool. I love that. Mm -hmm. What's the, um, what's the plan, uh, going forward? You've got 60, whatever, 6,000 followers or whatever. Um, we'll have everybody go follow you. Are you able to go live on that one or no? I've been go well, yeah, yeah. Like yesterday, I did a live. Like it doesn't let me post, but it it lets me go live. So totally, yeah. super cool. Mm -hmm. Is it um? Is it uh uh? So from that one, that's a that's a beautiful strategy, by the way. And you can get you know one one tip I might have on that is you know as people come and watch you go live on that is you you know you can say like um hey comment. Uh, get make sure to give lots of hearts and likes because that positive interaction on an account that's view only will really help you. Um, but yeah, you can encourage your your uh, your crowd and your followers to do that. But man, really powerful. Um, going forward, uh, as you're posting your content, is there anything? What's what's the strategy going forward to build multiple accounts on multiple different platforms? Well, now I want to like focus more on live, going live, because, you know, every time I see somebody here on the Wake Up Legendary, I've seen, you know, how it's helped. So, yeah, yeah. I focus more on conversions because leads, I'm generating, you know, leads every day. Yeah. Um, but I want to make sure I'm converting those leads. So, yeah, that's like my next step now. Yeah. Yeah. When you think of cold, warm and hot. <laughs> You know, yeah. one of the best ways to take some some people who are in that middle ground over to really hot buyers, um, I call it like a buyer frenzy, is to, you know, go live and really connect with people and break through some of the layers of resistance and go straight into, um, you know, go straight into sort of, hey, I'm real. I'm a normal person. <laughs> Look. Yeah. 
it's nice to meet you, you know, and that sort of, it's like, okay, I really get a sense for who this person is. That's different than just a post on their TikTok yeah, page. It is definitely. So yeah, I'm working on that now. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> have you, have you gone live much yet so far? Aside well, from yesterday? Yeah, I actually started like a month ago, but then I cool. had this like citizenship interview. So I was like focusing on that. So I could, you cool. know, <laughs> um, <Yeah>, citizenship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. So I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on this. And cool. then I, yeah, I went back to going live like yesterday because, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I recently quit my job because wow. why not? Yeah, I'm just going to take the risk. You know, I have like some savings and I'm just going to go all in because it's just like so tiring when, you know, you you come from work with the feelings from your work. Mm -hmm. It just takes, well, to me, it just takes so much focus out of your business that nah, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. My boyfriend was like, yeah, what are you risking by staying in your nine to five? What are you risking if you, you know, if you leave your nine to five? I was like. Gosh, <laughs> I'm going to take the risk. So, cool. yeah. And now I'm focusing, you know, I'm going live on um, the backup account in the mornings. I'm going live on the second account at nights. And yeah. Wow. Do it every day. <laughs> That's amazing. I will tell you what. The power of going live every single day, it will change who you are as an entrepreneur. It will, it will, and if you push through those first few days, I'll tell everybody on this when you push through those first few days of going live and you start doing it regularly, you, if you want to know one of the fastest ways to start to build authority and start to build your confidence and self esteem on the internet, it's going live. Mm -hmm. Because man, sitting in front of a, a you sweating, you're sweating, you're nervous and shaking, and you know you gotta, you gotta, you know, basically when you're done, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. I have to go shower because I just sweat so much and I'm like disgusting. Oh, yeah. But once once you get a month or two into it, it's just kind of like you've seen all the questions you're gonna get. You know, you've had all the trolls, you've had all the people that are just like stupid and just like. And now you're in a place where you're like, okay, I actually know what people want to want to learn. I know what people want to know yeah. and I can really like take my time and, and give them what they need and help them. Like you said, let's bring this full circle, actually help people. Oh, exactly. And, um, and man, that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, awesome. This has been really powerful. What, uh, I'll give you the last word to our audience. What, for, for people who are here and they're new and they're like, man, they're thinking through, oh gosh, I don't know if I could start creating videos and it's a little scary to hit post and I'm a little nervous. Um, what would you say to those people? And also here, let's, let's take a question from the audience. What do you talk about when you first start going live? So on videos, but also just in going live or posting videos when you're new, you know, how do you get started? What are, what are some of the first things that you talk about? I mean, how do you, you know, it's a little nerve wracking. What did you start with? <laughs> yeah. So I kind of create like a little uh, framework, you know, that I can go through, you know, like an start. outline. Exactly. I start with my, oh. uh, with um, how I found this, what freelance digital marketing is like some objections that mm -hmm. people may have. You know, like it's not this, it's not that. Um, and then I show my computer, you know, I show a little bit about Amazon. Um, and then I try like Smart. something I remember because, oh my God, it's so hard to, <laughs> for me, it's just so hard to keep everything in mind. And it's, you know, because yeah. you're just, like looking at yourself is so weird. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, like, I show my computer and then I show a little bit of the 15 day challenge and you know, I go through that. Cool. All day. Yeah. So you actually take a little bit of a, you take a little bit of an outline and you, yeah. and you kind of go through that just to give yourself a little structure, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. And even for, uh, even for TikTok videos, you know, this sounds a little crazy, but, um, one one powerful idea that I think is is cool is um, 
taking and you can even like tape you can tape like paper on the back and have it like stick up above your screen you know so you have your little outline and oh, it's just like you good. have it there the whole time yeah. and you're like oh yeah i remember this or i remember that or yeah. whatever you know like a postcard or something yeah, i've done that before um <laughs> just to keep myself on pace and that keep keep kind of an outline of where i'm going but um for somebody who's new and hasn't posted a video yet um but they're they're creating their TikTok account. What <laughs> um what would you say to that person who's a little scared to hit post? Just get out of your head head and just do it mm -hmm. because you you never know what's gonna happen and it's not the end of the world. You just hit post and that's it. <laughs> you feel like a relief inside, like oh my god, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, just fear up to the point of hitting mm -hmm, post. Exactly. Once you do it, you did it. You know, it's like the, when I first, like, I wasn't so scared about posting because, you know, I was like in social media before, but going live, oh my God, it was so funny. Like, I even have the replay because I need to keep that <laughs> for future. <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah, I went live and I was so scared, <laughs> <laughs> like shaking, like my face goes like, <gasps> and I hit like, stop <laughs> right there. <laughs> So you've yeah. kept that recording? Oh my god, yes. Oh, I good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, this because is be because there's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a time. There's gonna be a time where, uh, you know, in a year or two, or maybe now, where you know you're gonna be talking about how you got started on the internet, yeah. and um, you know, as you're going through slides or whatever, <laughs> maybe it's a presentation for a sales presentation or something, or. Maybe you start selling your own digital course and you're going to be like, hey, have you ever tried to like post on the internet or post on social media or go live and you look like this? And then you pull up that video and you're like, look, I get it. I've been yeah. there before. You know, look yeah. at look at how crazy I look at this. It was literally um, five seconds long. <laughs> I love it. it you're like, uh, go live. No, no, no. Undo, 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 undo. Yeah. Stop. That's yeah. hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just got to hit post, right? Exactly. Just do it. And if you're scared, that means that you have to keep doing it. <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. And the reward and the payoff is what? Oh, my God. It like I've shifted, shifted so much like mindset. Yeah. You know, when I saw the first high ticket commission, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, like, yeah, yeah it's really re rewarding. It's really mm -hmm. rewarding. You know, yeah. they keep pushing. Cool. Keep pushing. Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. Um, okay. So I've got create freedom with Camila three, right? Is that the right yep. account? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, Camila, thanks for coming on the show today. And, uh, if you want to message us, uh, send us an email back in like, let's say 60 days and, uh, two months, set a reminder on your phone. And then, uh, at the beginning of the year, we'd love to have you back on. Sure. I would love to. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming on. Thanks. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, you can follow Camila uh, on TikTok at Create Freedom with Camila Three. So it's Create Freedom with, and then Camila is spelled C A M I L A, and then it's the number three. Create Freedom with Camila Three. Guys, we go live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and uh, yeah, you can join us again tomorrow. I'm by the way guest hosting the rest of this week so i will be guest hosting uh all monday through friday this week uh tune in 10 a.m eastern we'll see you again back here tomorrow on our facebook page